uh, a very, it's a very disappointing outcome for, uh, you know, we gave up 70 points on our home floor. They shoot 52%. I think they're a good basketball team. I don't want to take anything away from them. Uh, but we shoot 33s, and I know we shot a bunch there at the end. I can take out five or six. You know, we're, 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 we're last or next to last in field goal shooting. And, and it's very difficult to, to see us resort to three-point shooting uh, when they're, they're, just, they're just surrounding Imani and, and saying, no way, you're not going to get it into him. And we're not, when we don't hit the threes, it, it, it seems to. I just That's why I'm a little bit late. You guys are letting your shooting affect the rest of the game, the rest, the, the, the rest of the, the other parts of your game. And we can't go seven for 30. Half our shots are three and win. We just can't do that. What is that? That's less than 20. What is that? 23%. I'm, I'm, uh, as you can tell, the second half, I took my, several of my starters out quick because I thought they weren't playing with the energy we needed to. And uh, I'm just going to keep trying to shake up this team any which way I can to get them going. But well, I tell you what, we need DJ Brown, Ethan, and Tavo if, if specifically to shoot the ball better than they have tonight. The two for 17, and I think that is a glaring hole in the statistics for us. I hate to call them out like that. I know they want to make their shots, but we got to do, we got to shoot better than that. Alani McClanahan is definitely one of the quickest people in the league, and we got to do a better job of not letting him get to the hole and and create scoring opportunities for all the other players, including himself. Any questions? It's really close at halftime, and I know you always talk about the beginnings of halves. How important of that? The beginning and the ends. The yeah. beginning and the end. Uh, actually, the end and the beginning of every half. I think, I think the reason why is because, you know, if you don't start out strong at the beginning, it can have a mental effect on you. You know, all those, all those things. Then I'm not even talking about the lot. Oh, you got to play well all during the game, but when you start out slow or you go into halftime with them scoring the last six or eight points, it has that, it could have that mental effect on you that kind of pulls, pulls the energy out of you. And I think I've heard so many coaches speak that as a young coach, and I agree with that 100%, that you, you got to close out strong. You got to start strong, close out the first half strong. So your locker room is more lively. And, and I'm sorry, I may have interrupted you. I apologize. Yeah, I was just going to talk about the importance, you know, yeah. just the importance of that situation. I, I mean, if not, it's an energy sapping event. And then I think you, you had it to, to five points there with about two minutes to go, and, and they missed those two free throws. And oh, then God, you, don't tell me about it, man. It just, it, just, it just drives me nuts. You know, the ball bounced long. We were worried about their two guys in the lane and it bounced over our head, but we still have to get that, you know. And, and, you know, these guys, we were down. I can't remember, Rob, maybe you can help me. We were, we were right there with them late in the game at UTA and they got an offensive <coughs> rebound off a free throw there that kind of broke our backs. We work on that, Joe. We work on that. We got to get it done. And, I, and, you know, I think our players realize that. They got to get it done. It ain't going to get done with pretty boy play, you know. Watch this three. It's, it, it's blue collar. That's what I'm trying to get my guys. Be more blue collar. Be more wheat bread rather than white bread. They may not have that in them. But if we're not as quick as Lonnie McClanahan, we have to be, we have to get down and dirty. I, mean, I shouldn't say dirty. We have to get down and just defend the heck out of them. We got to control the boards, and we're not. Coach, when you say um, you've you've made a point and effort to say you want to shake up the team, when you when you say that, do you mean I've had a bunch of different starting lineups? Starting as lineups, of late. other than starting lineup, anything else? Uh, maybe 
Other than that, anything else? Well, you know, what can you do? You know, we we put in a couple of screen on the ball type situations. You know, trying to get DJ. Really, you know, I I need DJ to come play. He's your point guard, right? I think if your quarterback in football doesn't play, you're in trouble. Your point guards are your most important position on the floor. And we need him to come play. And and I when I say shake it up, OJ Black, you know, got fourteen minutes tonight. I guess that's really not a lot. I've been playing about that, but maybe I need to play more. But DJ Brown was hitting some shots early that he's not hitting now. He was hitting some big shots mm-hmm. early for us. Some he was knocking down some threes. Ethan Montavo was knocking down some threes early. We would be Troy and Ethan Ethan was just I mean, Ethan's the hero of the game. When we beat Georgia Southern, we get DJ, Ethan, and Caven hitting threes, you know, uh, but we still went inside out. You know, we got to get Imani's got only, he's 12 points tonight. You know, he's three for 80, six for 10. He's got to be, he's sitting over there, I'll tell him, he's got to be more efficient than that. And I, I, I can say that, and I think they agree with it. That we got, we got, you know, we, we've got to go five for eight and, and nine for 10 and using Imani as an example. I mean, I don't have to talk about DJ, one for 10, one for seven. I think anybody who, who I mean, this is your first basketball, you, you can see that we didn't, we didn't shoot the ball well from the guard spots. I thought Wes Davis gave us a good game. They had rebounds 37 to 33, but let's be honest, the way we shot the ball, they had more opportunities to rebound on the defensive end. They, should, they missed 25. And, and they missed 25 shots. We missed 40. That's 15 more rebounds for them. Turnovers, we didn't have a lot. Nine. You know, I, I can't, you know, we had, and not only did Ethan go one for seven, they had three turnovers. But, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they want to win. They're, they're, you know, they're, 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 this, this, hopefully, I think this hurts them. I do believe it hurts them. But I do believe they have to buy in that, Hey, we're not. Let's count on not shooting the ball real well, but let's defend the hell out of these guys. Let's dominate them on the boards. Let's win this rebounding by ten or fifteen, and 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 really play better defense. I don't see any. I can't see anything else leading to us to victory. You know, we beat South Alabama about I guess a week ago last night. They scored forty three points and shot thirty something percent. We only scored sixty three. It is. We are who we are, fellas. Let's not try to deny that. Coming down the stretch, um, I don't know how many games you guys have left. Um, only eight teams get into the tournament. How will you get across to your players that that sense of urgency has got to be there for them? To We're, we just tell them we got to win our home games. Though mm-hmm. sometimes I think we play better on the road. We won three all of our five games. We won three on the road and two at home. But you know we've got Georgia Southern and we got. Particularly Arkansas State and Troy coming in here, we got to definitely beat those two guys because they're they're competing with us. Then we go on the road and we play App State and I forget who else. Monroe, Monroe. you know. I guess we'll find out how mature and how how focused we are. You know. I mean, we're going two hours a day, and we're working. That's the only thing I know what to do. I can. I'm only doing the things I'm doing with teams that won conference titles and won 27 games, 28 games. I'm not, I haven't changed anything in terms of how I approach the games. It's worked for me over 22 years.